Father God, we worship you. Jesus, we adore you, Holy Spirit. We thank you for this time. Thank you for bringing us together at this time at your presence to give glory and honor to your holy name. Dear loving children of God, let us worship the Lord together as one family of believers. Let us adore and glorify God for all that we have experienced, particularly today. In silence, focusing on to Jesus, spending time beautifully with Him. Let us also ask the Lord pardon for the shortcomings and failures of today. Through words and thoughts and deeds, whatever that we have committed against the love of God, against the will and wish of God the Father. This is the moment. Try to have that examine of conscience and to say sorry to God for all the moments that we went astray. Being a child of God And being a disciple of Christ, the one who follow Christ, whatever way that we allowed any other objects or any other kind of pressures in life. This is the time to say sorry to God.
good to reflect how i spend the day today what were the struggles that i had to face in my life today how i could experience the hand of god in my life how i faced my challenges in my life today how was my day today we know that every day every moment every hour is a blessing and a gift from god and we are traveling and taking a step close to our destination it is good to keep still and know that how i am proceeding how i am heading in my life am i taking the most important thing along with me or i am just going with the majority of the people in the world we know very well the parable five wise women they had that extra oil with that extra oil they received and welcomed the bridegroom and the foolish ones they did not take that extra and the most important oil along with them so they are not able to light up the candle god blessed me with the 24 hours how much time i give to him how often i acknowledge the presence of god in my life how often i lift up my heart and mind towards god thanking god how often i walk with the presence of god as we are worshiping and adoring god this is the time to surrender our life completely at the feet of jesus once again with all the challenges with all the struggles that we had today or past days those who are confused to take the decisions or those who are disturbed in their minds due to different struggles at the workplace maybe discrimination or bullying or maybe due to this stress connected with the pandemic or whatever all those who are undergoing struggles in life mental agonies as we are about to close the day go to surrender at the feet of jesus truth and reality is only one that is this i possess christ and he possess me this is the ultimate truth and this is the ultimate reality nothing less nothing more
So surrender our life at the feet of Jesus. With all our struggles and burdens, with all our bad habits and addictions. And today's gospel when people approached Jesus by saying that your mother and relatives are here Jesus looked at the crowd and said who is my mother who is my sister or my brother then he added everyone who listens to the word of god and practice it that in their everyday life they are they are my brothers and sisters and such one is my mother by saying this jesus was giving such an importance to mother mary because jesus knew mother mary was a person received god's word in her heart and she treasured this as a gift and then she executed throughout her life what she has received if we want to join with the family of jesus as a close profound and intimate relative of christ this is what is demanded how much i practice the word of god in my personal life spiritual growth is also totally depend upon how much how much i'm able to practice every day what are the fruits that i bear In Acts of Apostles we read when Saint Paul was with the governor Felix he was making a self defense by sharing I was trying to keep up a clear and good conscience towards God and people of God so that i grow every day in my spiritual life i try to keep a good and clear conscience when jesus said it is not enough to listen listening to god's word but it is also important to practice or execute what you heard in your life this is possible only by having a clear conscience in our own day to day life having a clear conscience what i am doing what's happening with me am i taking the most important thing in my life even though there are a lot of choices in front of me there are a lot of colorful choices in front of me am i taking the right thing do i find a problem to prioritize things in my day to day life being a responsible child of god do i find a problem in prioritizing what is most important thing if i find this problem in my life every time then i'm not taking jesus so seriously in my life on earth if i don't have this clear conscience even i don't think about it i take what it comes on my way i don't worry about the prioritizing I just take everything that comes on my way the result 
I'm exhausted, I'm tired. Just because I'm giving time for unwanted things and wicked things. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Lord. There is only one goal. Being a child of God, only one goal. That goal is... to witness the love of god on earth as we are about to conclude the adoration let us also intercede for every single one very especially as we were praying during mass for people who are giving up interviews these days who are waiting for a permanent job who are praying for a job those who are really broken due to their jobless situations right now and all the students who are preparing the, for their hsc exam and all the other exams these days and all the difficulties connected with their studies due to this pandemic and all the online studies whatever it is let us remember them we do offer all covid-19 patients in ventilator right now very specially all those who lost their beloved ones these days and past months and weeks all those who are having the trauma or all those who are having that deep sorrows because of the departure of their beloved ones lord only you can comfort them holy spirit comfort them strengthen them at this time at this time keep them strong dear loving children of god when we are safe and comfortable we can't understand much the pain of the people or the pain of the other how much they are undergoing in their day to day life when we hear somebody's sharing when we experience something happens in our neighborhood we could feel a bit of it but we don't understand as it is but what we can do now strongly pray and support every single one struggling at this time and ask the gift from the holy spirit to practice god's word in our day to day life as much as possible may not be possible in its full in it in its full level but having that clear and good conscience that helps me that reminds me what i need to do and prioritize what is most important and leave the rest good to pray and have that clear conscience please kneel down all of you right now offering once again your personal intentions all the prayer intentions and petitions of the people 
who reached to divine retreats and the summers be all that we received today and all those who are participating right now this worship and adoration through facebook and youtube we remember them your families your intentions let us also remember our loving parents siblings your spouse and your children say a small prayer for each one of them in silence let us sing together down in adoration and prepare ourselves for benediction Let us pray Lord our God in this great sacrament we come into the presence of Jesus Christ your son born of the virgin mary and crucified for our salvation my we who declare our faith in this fountain of love and mercy drink from it the water of everlasting life we ask this through Christ our lord Let us do the divine praises together. Blessed be God, blessed be his holy name. Blessed be Jesus Christ, true God and true man. Blessed be the name of Jesus. Blessed be his most sacred heart. Blessed be his most precious blood. Blessed be Jesus in the most holy sacrament of the altar. Blessed be the Holy Spirit, the paraclete. Blessed be the great mother of God Mary most holy Blessed be her holy and immaculate conception Blessed be her glorious assumption Blessed be the name of Mary virgin and mother Blessed be Saint Joseph her most chaste spouse Blessed be God in his angels and in his saints Amen <laughs> 